You're right, here we are in the workshop and we're taking a look at the Venturi Evo FPV from flyingwings.co.uk So what we have on the bench today is one of the wings, it's just arrived this morning It's now all masked up, um, we're going to give it a quick spray before we laminate the wing See, nice looking wing, nice thick cord Really nicely cut foam, so we're just going to get some fluorescent colour on it before we start with the laminating. And there we have one sprayed wing. Right, and here we are with one painted top surface on the wing. Okay, so now what we're looking at is the wooden components of the Venturi wing. I won't bother you to so flick them all out of the laser cut sheet but this is all now to press out and glue together as per the instructions. Okay, what we have here is the assembled centre section. It's just held together with uh, cyano glue. Uh, it's all gone together reasonably well other than one little piece there which the plan shows it as fitting into that bulkhead there but there's no slot so we'll have to do a bit of uh, filing and gluing when the thing's set solid I think I'll now leave this until tomorrow and then come back to it and it should all be nicely dry ready to get this masking tape which is just really just holding it together while the glue hardens Right, today we're in the edit suite at flypastrc.com uh, as you can see it's kind of the, the nerve centre of the video creation, one side of my cell phone mic has actually shot a video then across across here it comes to be edited ready for uh, YouTube and the like. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, another wing from flyingwings.co.uk uh, today we're going to have a look at the Venturi Evo FPV. Mike's already done a build list of its little sister which is behind me, which is the Falcon Evo FPV. As you can see, if I lean forward, that's mine props up there. Uh, I've done uh, an initial review, initial well, our initial thoughts on the smaller wing. There it is. That's already on YouTube, and uh, here is the link to that. Now, as you can see, we we like it a lot. There's very little uh, we can find fault with. Uh, I think when Mike comes to his build list there are a couple of little points we've come across but they're minor, they are really really minor. Uh, for anybody wanting to get into FPV the smaller wing, the Falcon, it's an absolute gem. So anyway let's, let's have a look at the Venturi Evo, the big wing. Okay, so with the Venturi Evo FPV wing, we're actually looking at a wing that's 1.35 metres wingspan. So a considerably larger wing. It's aimed at the more serious FPV pilots. It's classed as being an advanced model. But to be honest, I think uh, Flying Wings are missing a trick here with this because just with a little more information in the instructions, you could actually see this as being just as easy to construct as the smaller wing. So let's have a look at what we've got. I'm not going to do a full build with this because it's, it's almost identical to the small wing, just scaled up. So I've got two wing sections. As before, uh, lovely EPP foam, really strong, really resilient. What I've done with these is to, first of all, laminate them and then again, we've used the tape pack that flyingwings.co.uk kindly sent us. Uh, these are available on their website just to add the high vis stripes, uh, bright yellow leading edge, just to keep, really just to keep these the edges of the stripes secure. Uh, I've painted the wing myself before laminating it, so we should be able to see that. So obviously two wings. And then we have the spar, which is fiberglass. Now, 
here I'll say I want carbon fibre. For FPV, wrong carbon fibre actually acts, is conductive and can act as an aerial, whereas the fiberglass is non conductive. So that simply slots in there and then slots through the body into the other wing. And then I use hot glue on this, uh, or I'm going to use hot glue on this to glue it to the fuselage section. Uh, power plant. We're looking, I think, at a, a 1400 kV motor with a, an 8 or a 9 inch prop. We're either going to run a 3S or a 4S system. We're going to deduce that from uh, experiments flying on the field. So as soon as we've got this thing up in the air, we'll have our initial thoughts on uh, how to power your model, how it flies, etc. Uh, but then a more in-depth rig with the FPV kit. I think initially we'll put something fairly basic in it, but uh, anyway, going back to the centre section, centre section made of ply, very, very good quality ply, it was laser cut, much in the same way, again, as a smaller wing. However, what they've actually done with this is there's loads of room in there for uh, large batteries, uh, your FPV gear, motor mount, nice big solid, uh, forged by the look of it, uh, aluminium motor mounts. There is a big chunk of EPP slots in the bottom to give it extra rigidity and some protection and the same kind of flap system as before. So we've got a, a flap cover which nicely just slots over the top, it's velcroed at the back. Uh, plenty of room for all your kit inside there. Now the nice thing is as supplied we've got at the front, we, this is the uh, centre section for a GoPro 3, so we've actually got a little cutout in here for GoPro 3 and a cutout there for your FPV camera. Plenty of room to lead all the cables back. I uh, can't see this being an option, uh, as a bad option, sorry, as far as layout goes. It's, it's all relatively straightforward. So what we're going to do with this is Initially, you'd probably fly it with, with just the wing, with, with no FPV system uh, or flight autopilot system at all. Then I think we're going to, first of all, add the Tornado to it, the Cyclops Tornado, and see how it gets on with that. Uh, we've not been very successful with the Tornado on two attempts with different types of aircraft, and all for, for varying reasons. So whether we stick with the Tornado or not will depend on its first flight, if not, uh, probably an Eagle Tree Vector. We like something more advanced with this and something longer range. So that's what we'll be looking at. But we'll cover the FPV aspect of this in a later video. So, right, it's time for me to film some close-ups of this wonderful little machine to overlay over me talking, because I'm sure you don't want to look at ugly me for uh, more than you have to do. Uh, so we look forward to this being finished. We're just waiting now for the motors to arrive uh, John in the Flying Club is bringing me down some nice large servos this afternoon to put the servos in, uh, make the aileron control surfaces, tape it all together and jobs are good and should only take maybe another 15 minutes to half an hour to finish it off. So we we'll look forward to seeing you very shortly. <laughs> Thank you.